I think that in a gender perspective, um, this instrument would be really, uh, is extremely important. Um, when we think of the structural inequalities according to which our society are still living as a heritage of patriarchal systems, um, we are faced with social security systems that basically are linked with work and with the model of the male breadwinner who is always active from the beginning of his career to the end, never stops, doesn't take paternity leave, whatever, and works full time. So where does that leave women? Women who are taking care of children, taking care of sick people, dependents, etc. It means that their lifestyle is not considered properly or was not considered properly in the social security systems. Of course, many countries have tried to overcome this male bias, but we're still not at a stage where uh, we have a proper uh, taking into account of the various lifestyles. So here I think that this um, universal um, income without conditions would help very much give more freedom give women the choice either to stay at home, to reduce their workload if they're working, or to increasing it by paying somebody else to take care for their children, and it would give men the possibility of reducing their activity as the 100% male um, breadwinner and uh, get involved into their families or do other things that they want to do and have more. So it would be an increase, as you said, Guy, more freedom for all. And I also think that when we think of um, specifically marginalized populations, uh, this system would reduce the stigmatization that is provoked by poverty and by the dependence either on somebody else for your survival or on a welfare state that very often criminalizes or treats at, as criminals the recipients of aid by many controls and by prying into their private sphere and the way they organize their lives. So here I really think that uh, um, the universal um, basic income would very much help all efforts for gender equality and non-discrimination and would also have the advantage as being addressed to everyone, um, it would help as a general entitlement to get out of the trap where gender equality efforts very often fall, that is singling out women and putting them with all other vulnerable groups and being considered as a minority that needs help and protection and not like equal citizens with the same rights, with the same abilities as men, the normal citizens. So we would move on, I think, and here there is a transformative capacity of this instrument that in a feminist perspective I find extremely uh, important and um, I'm very hopeful that with all the, the pilots <laughs> uh, going on, we will move progressively to more and more countries adopting this model and I really think that this is one way that gender equality could also be a central element of the conversation of on what kind of system, what kind of world do we want to live in, what kind of society do we want to live in, with which rights for men, women, children. Thank you.